Oh, the NBA scripted, man. Well, let, let me let me say that again. The NBA is rigged. Yo, Jaleel, you're... I've always grown up thinking that the NBA and sports in general is just... It's where amazing happens, I guess. I don't know. Like, I, I just didn't think it was rigged growing up. Maybe it was there some in denial to some denial in that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can physically play basketball myself, and these dudes just play basketball at a higher level than me. Like, motherfuckers locally are going to the NBA. Clearly, this shit can't be rigged. You know what I'm saying? But I think over the last couple of years, but more so this year, I am of the belief that the NBA is rigged. Now, I'm not going to say that it is 100% rigged. I'm not going to say it's 100% scripted and every single basket has just been planned out. Every single bump, every single movement is just a script that everyone is sticking to. I, I'm, I'm not even going to say that, you know, magnets are involved in the game. I know some people think that. I'm not a, you know, Jewish gem, uh, gematria believer. Shout out to Wordu. I, I'm not, I'm not going to go that route. Shout out to the Jews as well. Shout out to the Jews as well. Um... I just come from the belief that I think the NBA controls what it controls and what it can controls or or and what it can control to get their desired outcome. That's 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 all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And I think the easiest way and the number one way that they do that and it's the most optimal way they do that is through the NBA refs, in my opinion. In my opinion. I think the rules in the game right now is purposely ambiguous. I think they've set up the rules so that there is leeway in certain calls. It is going to be up to the referee to call this or not to call this. You know what I'm saying? There's going to be nights where they call this foul more. They call that foul less. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of missed illegal screens in the game. But if they want to, you know what I'm saying, control the pace of the game a little bit more... They're going to call that illegal screen when it's convenient for them to get the outcome that they desire. In my opinion. In my opinion. Now, let me just say as well, nothing. there's nothing about the recent games that has allowed me to form this opinion. Nothing at all. I didn't look at all... The Miami Heat, because everyone's been, excuse me, everyone's been talking about that Heat versus Knicks game. Yeah, this is proof that the NBA is rigged. I'm not, I'm not on that tip. This is something that I've been thinking about throughout the whole season, if I'm being completely honest. I think, I think I am leaning towards that, bro. I think, I think, I think I am leaning towards that. Um, you know, even with the suspension thing, as a Celtics fan, seeing Dejounte Murray get suspended for what he did after that game and seeing live Jason Tatum do what he did to that referee and I'm gonna be honest I was surprised he didn't even get a tech like that was that was kind of crazy that was that was kind of crazy so again it's it's these inconsistencies that allow the people who have control to control it as much as they can. I'm going to put it this way. I'm going to put it this way. I'm going to bring it back to the creator room. I say this a lot with Twitch. A lot of people complain about the bans that Twitch does, right? This person was unrightfully unbanned because of X, Y, and Z, inconsistencies, X, Y, and Z. I come from the perspective that 
Yes, it's okay for them to, to do this ban because in the rule book it says you can't do this. This guy broke the rule book, therefore he can be banned. And they have all the right to ban that person because it is their company, right? But on the other hand, because they're so inconsistent with how they call the rule book, because they're so inconsistent with how, hey, with how they enforce these rules, that allows for ambiguity that then they can now take advantage of. Right? And I think in the NBA, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. There's a lot of things that if they really wanted to, they don't have to call. They don't have to do. But it is in the rule book that they can't call it and that they are going to call it when it's convenient to them. I also think it's very, very sus how much the NBA is intertwined with gambling now and how they have embraced gambling sponsorships. Like it's very weird how many fan duel commercials I'm seeing every game, every uh, DraftKings commercial. Ain't the, like chat? Ain't that weird? That's not weird to y'all. That's not they. They love gambling, bruh. And I I understand gambling has a big bag, but they hey listen, bro. They love gambling. It, it, that's not weird to y'all. That's that that that's not weird to y'all. I don't know, man. I'm I'm in, I'm in my conspiracy bag right now, but I I truly do believe this, man. I listen. I I, I understand too that there is a legitimate business aspect to it. Number one, I've seen I, I saw it firsthand when I was at the casino. Gambling is hella fucking profitable. How easily someone can just spend thirty dollars and and you know what I'm saying like the sports book or whatever company is just recoups those thirty dollars without any additional cost is fucking crazy. And as the NBA, they got shit to fund. You know what I'm saying? These gambling companies, they got hella money. They can fund the NBA. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's just a little sus to me, bro. It's just it's 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 just a little bit sus to me. When Tim Donahue also got exposed for leaning towards certain calls during the early two thousands because of a gambling addiction that he has, correct me if I'm wrong. Do y'all really think Tim Donahue was the only referee betting? Do y'all think Tim Donahue is the only one gambling? I don't. I don't think so, bro. But it's fine though. It's fine. I like. I'm not. Listen, bro. I'm not. I'm not complaining about all of this. I'm not. Also, side note. <laughs> I love it when people point out, yo, if if the NBA was rigged, yo, bro, the Knicks would have 55 championships. Listen, bro. That's good writing. Hey, what, what, yo, what, what they what they say about what they say about the Bible, man? What they say about uh, Christianity? The greatest trick the devil pulled off was making y'all believe he didn't exist, or God didn't exist. I don't know. Maybe I fucked that up. <laughs> no, but it, 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 essentially, essentially, what I'm saying is. If you know, they they can't they can't just they can't just go with the go to storyline every round every single year because it's gonna look too obvious. It's gonna look too obvious, bruh. Can't do that. You know what I'm saying? The Lakers can't win a championship every year. They 
the Knicks, them being ass is a part of the facade. Because if they were good every year, then shit would look sus.